While hundreds of American athletes compete in the London Olympics, another Team USA is assembling its delegation for a different international competition. Tryouts for the 19th World Maccabi Games, which will be held in June 2013, have begun across America. Today, Maccabi USA is in Los Angeles, searching for the athletes who must defend Team USA's 2009 gold medal basketball win. Dozens of countries compete in the Jewish competition. Beginning in 1932, the Maccabi Games are held every four years and are named after the Maccabees, Jewish warriors who defeated foreign rulers in 142 BCE, winning Jewish independence and sovereignty in the land of Israel. This year marks the 80th anniversary of the Games, and if the 2009 competition is any indication, we can expect more than 7,000 athletes to participate in the 2013 Games. Former participants include Olympians, world champions, and record holders, attesting to the game's high standards and selectivity. <laughs> Athletes from many states have traveled to be here for the basketball tryouts, one of the most anticipated sports of the Maccabi Games. The excitement is palpable. You know, every tryout you can never take for granted, especially if you're a serious athlete, and that's the way it's been for him. He gives it. Uh, 150 percent. These coaches that Maccabi has are professional coaches. They know what they're looking for and they know when they see talent. And they have to because the competition in Israel is tough. 2013 head coach Seth Greenberg aims to ready Team USA to meet that challenge. In his extensive 35-year coaching history, Greenberg has led two college teams to NCAA victories, has mentored professional NBA players, and was twice honored with the ACC Coach of the Year Award. When you talk about the Israeli team, the Russian team, uh, the French team, they're going to have time to work together, you know, because a number of our kids are playing collegiate basketball or playing professionally, you know, we don't have them for that same amount of time, so it's going to be a condensed training camp, and we're trying to find the best 12 players that are going to work together that are going to create the best chemistry to represent the United States, no different than any type of all-star or elite team, except obviously the cause is greater. That cause was best summarized by Prime Minister Netanyahu at the Maccabi opening ceremonies in 2009, when he said, you represent 65 countries, but more than anything, you represent one special people, the people of Israel. And it's that experience that stands out most for many veteran Maccabi USA athletes. It's just so much fun, just all, every, it's packed. People in Israel, the stadiums are just packed. Everyone's cheering you on. Everyone's so excited to see you there. And it just, it, it just feels, feels good. I mean, that's, that's the, the motherland, right? That's, the, that's where everything goes down. So uh, it would be incredible. I mean, I did it once, like I said, but it was in Scotland. So this would be like the holy grail of everything. Coach Greenberg's own experience as an assistant coach in the 1989 Maccabi Games left a lasting impression on him as well. It really is a great meeting of, of the Jewish community from all over the world. So two weeks to remember about a lifetime of experiences. But make no mistake, Coach Greenberg's got his eye on the ball. Or should we say, who? You know, we're there to have a great experience, but we're also there to try to win games and try to bring back a gold medal. The Maccabi Games are the third largest international sports competition in the world, just behind the Olympics and the Pan American Games. And Maccabi athletes often go on to have professional sports careers. While Maccabi USA's basketball team won't be announced for a couple of months, we look forward to seeing the Olympic sized gold medal dreams of many of these athletes come true. For JN1 in Los Angeles, I'm Lara Berman.